hope you guys doing well and today I'm going to show you that how the tables will works in bootstrap and how you can add the responsive things in your bootstrap tables let me create a table first which is a table and then t head which have the t headings and uh, I'm gonna simply add three headings here which is uh, our first name and then last name you can input uh, uh, a data whatever you want this, this is just for an example like email and if you are adding three T headings so you can also keep that in mind that uh, if you are adding three T H like uh, T table headings you need to also add the T T R and then T D three TDs in a one row because uh, if you have three headings and uh, you uh, want to expand the data you can simply add the three headings and the three table data let me just uh, add the dummy data which is uh, John and uh, Dewey and uh, John and and tryandytechpro.com this is a website you can also visit this Mary Moe Mary and I'm gonna add some jolly dolly jolly so once we see in our browser that is very simple and a static table which we have uh, any other class we need to add a simple bootstrap class with the name of tables this is uh, automatically get the styles and uh, our all the tables will automatically styled so this is the first thing that uh, bootstrap will provide us and the second thing I will add a class which is striped and uh, you see that uh, there are uh, some stripes here you can also add the table class also so here there we have some stripes like uh, this one and uh, now some of the if you want to add some borders here you can simply add the class which is uh, table and then bordered so here we go we have added some borders here with the separation of our columns like this we don't need to add some sprites at this time and it will show you the exact results and uh, now I'm gonna add some table hover effect
which is uh, here once I uh, move my cursor in our table data it will automatically highlight it so this is uh, the table hover class will work and uh, now I'm gonna tell you about some dark table which is here and then I'm gonna here we go we have some hover effects and then dark table which is added and you can also add uh, stripes in your dark table also striped just here we go we have some sprites here I'm just gonna remove the hover effect you can add multiple classes whatever you want and look improve your tables look in your website so now I'm gonna tell you about um, borderless tables if you don't want any borders in your tables like by default we have but um, that is very messy we need to simply add that table and then border less class so we have uh, mm, these tables with no border if you will remove this borderless class it will take borders from top bottom like you can use whatever you want so you can also add the table primary colors in your table like this one here just to show you we need to add some table border list border actually border less so there we have some uh, of the colors which we can define like primary secondary success danger info warning active and light and dark dark uh, we have used uh, um, dark in previously you can also embed these classes into your tables and uh, um, see what uh, how you get for example we need to add some danger actually danger table it will automatically pick the actually geo danger keep that in mind you can um, name your classes properly so um, if you don't if you will uh, miss any of uh, the character uh, you will not get exactly CSS that you are looking for so now I'm gonna tell you about some table responsive things like uh, I'm gonna add here some table responsive class and uh, there we go actually the table responsive class will not work within our table we need to define a wrapper of the table where we can add the table responsive class and grab our complete table into our table responsive class so here we go we have added our table responsive class so this is how the table responsive things will work
you can also uh, add the table sm table md table lg let me just uh, add a simple table sm class so it will make smaller md and just to show you that how table will works so you can uh, also add the medium class small large and extra large basically the uh, table responsive sm is uh, less than uh, 576 pixels and uh, the table responsive md uh, 76 is uh, less than and the table responsive LG is uh, less than 992 pixels and then the table responsive Excel will work less than 1200 so you can also manage these tables using your own style and uh, you can also add these stripes and borderless and uh, these properties and uh, mm, customize them whatever you need and whatever you like in your website so that's all for now guys and uh, hope you guys enjoy my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel you can also visit my website which is uh, listed in the description below so see you guys in my next video